Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on this wonderful Wednesday for learning. Hey, it's going to be a great day to be a Falcon. Today is Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. I'm hoping for some more sunshine than what I'm seeing now. Um, we're hoping for that for the rest of today. It's supposed to be nice in the high 40s. Um, we'll take it, right? As we head from winter to finally spring. Spring will uh, happen this month. Uh, towards the end of March is when spring happens, at least officially um, with the sun. So uh, it gets at the equator and we'll be there in a couple weeks. So we're almost there, right? We're almost to spring. Hey, it's a great time to be a falcon. It's a great time to be outside playing. On our lunch menu today, we have, of course, it's Wednesday. We have classic pepperoni pizza and roasted broccoli. You can also take a turkey and cheese sandwich instead if you like. Please remember to take a fruit and a vegetable with every school meal. Hey, you know, it's Women's History Month. We'll be talking about that um, as we go through the month. It's also Hemophilia Awareness Month. What is hemophilia? Well, here talks a little bit about it. Let me pull this up for you. Here talks a little bit about it. What is hemophilia? Well, I have hemophilia and I'm okay, is what this says. I don't, but we do have uh, students and adults at our school. Um, so some, hemophilia is something that people are born with, um, but with proper treatment, they can do just about anything. And you can't catch it. So you can be friends with anyone with hemophilia. Um, it's not something that you would catch, so you can play with everybody. Hemophilia means that a person can bleed and bruise easily. So if they get bumped and stuff, they can easily bruise. And also like if they get cut or something, they can bleed a lot easier. Um, bleeding usually happens around their joints, like their ankles or their knees or their elbows, and even in their muscles. So if they bleed or bruise, they just need to rest, put ice on it, see the doctor, or go to a special clinic. Um, but playing, builds muscles and helps their joints. So it's important for people with hemophilia to play, even though we know if they get bumped, um, they can get bruised and bleed easily. And um, sometimes they wear bracelets to let people know and be aware that they have hemophilia, so they'll know how to get help. So it's called a medical alert bracelet. Um, so basically, they let, they, it's important for them to get out and play. They just have to be careful not to play things that are too rough. You know, things like swimming and things like that, um, where you wouldn't get hurt as much, or great physical activities, walking, things like that. Um, but they do have to be careful. And so we have students and staff here with hemophilia, and so I just want to share with you what that is and what that's like for people as we talk about Hemophilia Awareness Month, all right? I learned some things just now from that. I hope you did too. Hey, you know what? We've got music uh, this month. we got uh, School Music Month um, for March. And so I wanted to let you know, Mrs. Rowland, um, she's going to have a coloring writing activity for kids to take home this week and throughout March if you like it. Um, I just want to let you know that they're going to be available during your music time. You can take them home to color them. And then when you bring them back to school, um, put them in a little bin in the office and um, then she'll start adding them to the wall each day as part of music in our schools month. And again, each week you'll vote for different um, uh, bands. Um, in a contest for March Madness, so make sure you're doing that. Hey, I wanted to bring you out here today to, to kind of show you. Um, we're, we're starting to play noodle tag out here. You can see this is the line, right? This yellow line. This over here to the west, or when you're walking out to the left side, is all for soccer. And to the right side, or to the east, towards the mountains in the east, is for noodle tag. Um, it's been kind of wild and wacky out here because you guys are so excited by having noodle tag back. But I just want to remind you of a couple things with rules for noodle, noodle tag. So each player has one noodle only. You can't have more than one. You just have one and you have one color. You can't switch colors once you have a color. You can't trade with others. That's the color you have during noodle tag. And then when you are it, meaning you're the person tagging, you need to try and tag people from below the shoulder. So if you're tagging from the shoulder up to the head and face, then that's not a legal tag and actually you can be um, taken out of the game and not be able to play the rest of that recess if you're seen doing that. So there's no hitting people multiple times, just tag them once. Um, again, if you tag them above the shoulder, then you're out of the game for the rest of that recess. You'll have to put the noodle back in the tub and you'll be done. 
Um, also, we notice that people are taking like one color and then one color is hardly getting taken. So, um, and there's a lot of kids out there, over 100 kids playing noodle tag. And so that can make it really tough. So um, if you're out playing noodle tag and you're just kind of standing around, some people are kind of going way to the back of the, the line area and just kind of hanging out there, not really playing. We'll just ask you to put your noodle up too. So, cause if you're not really playing and you're just kind of hanging out, taking up a noodle, we want someone who wants to play to be playing noodle tag. All right, so this time what we've done is I brought out one bin here today and you can see, look at the bin. It's got all four colors of noodles and it's got um, 15. So there's 15 of each color. Once that color is used up, you gotta pick a different color. So that means the most that we can have is 15 times four colors. So in here, how many do I have in here? If I have 15 of each color and I've got four colors, 15 times four. Think about that, what do you think it is? What's 15 times four? 15 plus another 15 plus another 15 plus another 15. Or I can count each one of them up right now. 15 times four is 60. That's right, there are 60 noodles. So only 60 players can play. So if you're someone that wants to play and there's no more noodles left, you'll have to just wait for next recess, or you can kind of wait on the sidelines because if kids bonk each other in the head, um, or they're not really playing noodle tag, we'll have them go off the field and their noodle will be available in the tub. So that's all we're bringing out, is 60 kids to play noodle tag each recess, so that everyone has a chance to run around and play um, and have fun, um, and we can make sure we can monitor it really well. So that's part of noodle tag, so just a reminder. We do have more hula hoops out, like I said. I'm gonna be pumping up a few more balls today so we can get some of our equipment updated um, that's on the blacktop for you, all right? So just some things to think about when you're out um, outside of recess. Hey, it's getting darker and colder out here. I thought it was supposed to warm up. Brr. All right, last thing I have are birthday announcements. Happy birthday today to London Russell. And happy birthday today to Mr. Wright. So happy birthday to the two of you. You can come on down and pick out of the birthday bucket this morning. All right, boys and girls, let's soar today. Let's be safe, own our actions, accept others, and be respectful. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls, and always remember your Freilands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll see you soon. Take care.